So you want a baked potato, but you don't have an oven. Well, just stick that bad boy outside in the sun for 325 hours, and you'll have something to go in. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool pixel art little guy here. Um, and I kind of wanted to just share my process, you know how we do here. Um, and I, I had some... I actually didn't have too much trouble. I had a little bit of trouble trying to decide what pose I wanted this guy to be in or what I wanted him to be at. At first, I kind of wanted him to be the main character. Then I decided maybe I want him to be an enemy. So, you can see the biggest thing that I'm that I'm uh, trying to get down here is the shapes. So, his arms, his torso, his legs, and the sword, the great sword that he's holding. Those are the only things I really care about right now. It's just the shapes. I don't care about the details. Um, it's always the same kind of way starting off a, 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 a pixel art piece. Um, you kind of want to just get down the basic shapes, the ideas, um, the, I don't know, what the, the, uh, the character itself, you know, the, the, the personality of it. So you want to, you want to be able to see his arms going back. You want to see the, the thing he's wearing kind of draping down in between his legs and you want to see his legs and you want to make sure you know where everything is before you start detailing anything out. And then after that, I always go ahead and I do, um, a little bit more shading and, the thing is with shading, you don't want to do too much. I've said this before in the past. You don't want to do too much shading because it starts looking pillowy. So there's a term called pillow shading. If you don't know, it's essentially if you shade all sides of something, it starts looking a little strange. So my advice, have a super dark color for the the, the deep shadows and then have a slightly lighter color for regular shadows, which is what I do or what I try to do in most of the things that I um, work on. At this point, we're getting to a point where I, I'm starting to like the shape a lot. So I'm kind of going off and doing something with the sword now. I'm um, trying to block the shape out for that now. Um, and I I really, I wasn't liking, I usually I usually love pixel art without outlines. I, I usually am a big fan of like completely no outlined pixel art. But for this, for some reason, I was really feeling the outline. So I decided to go ahead and, and, and do a little bit of it. And as you can see, I kind of put the outline inside of the pixel art as well, which isn't done a lot of the times, but I think it looked really good for separating things that were on top of each other. So for instance, his arm, um, and then I think there's a little piece of the cloth that I also kind of um, put a little black line next to it. And I just wanted to define a super deep wrinkle, or like I said, his arm going across his body there. Um, so I thought that was really, really nice, just fixing up some of the shading there as well, because I thought it looked a little pillowy, like I said before. Um, I think the biggest thing is once again, once again, like always, just don't overshade. Um, try and get as much detail in with as little lines or as little uh, pixels as possible, and you got something going pretty good. Just work on it for a little bit. This took me around maybe an hour and a half ish, not even that long, probably. I don't even, I don't even know, 45 minutes maybe. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, pixel art.